I'm Praline Birkes and um, this is my story. I grew up as a, the youngest of three children and as three children fighting for your parents' attention. There's always going to be jealousy and um, rivalry between the, the children. Um, my brother, I think, wanted a little sister as a, I mean, a little brother instead of sister. And as a result, he was my bully. I think this the devil started using men in my life to hurt me and I think to twist my my views on men. I had very low self-esteem, like I had no self-worth. I committed my life to the Lord as a child already. Um, as a teenager I just fell back into sin, I started drinking and doing like things that teenagers do, I guess. I got involved with men. When I was 18 years old I fell pregnant. Like the first thought was uh, to have an abortion because that's the safest way that nobody will know. It's funny how God works because it was a struggle the whole time while I was pregnant. It was like I couldn't just uh, think of murdering this baby. Uh, I moved to Cape Town and came and stayed with my sister and we and I looked for work, started working. But our relationship wasn't that great because it was always uh, fighting and arguing and as a young mother with a, a, a small child I was just trying to find my feet. So this man came into my life, it was a Muslim and he basically proposed to me and I was like this could be a way out, this could be a family for my daughter. It didn't last very long, it was a, a issue of um, violence, I, I tried to get away there, my parents helped me. I got back to uh, Springbok where my parents were staying. Tigerberg chauffeur that was busy doing outreach there. And they came to do deliverance and I've basically backslidden so badly. And they just embraced me and they built friendship with me. And then that, I, I recommitted my life. And so I was never baptized as a grown up and they baptized me in my bath <laughs> and then I did foundation for. I enrolled and did internship at um, Chofa in Stellenbosch and um, it was an amazing year. It just felt like I became alive again. It felt like a bit, I was like a human. So we moved as a family, we moved to Belleville the, the next year, that was 2011. I started working, looking for work. Um, and life just happens and I just started backsliding again. I just had this con continuous cycle. While I was living in Cape Town, I basically um, attended Tiger Book, Shofa, and it was me just attending it. I wasn't a member, I wasn't connected to South Group or anything like that. This boy came to visit my parents and uh, somehow we we ended up connecting and uh, started something he was so set on the fact that he wanted a baby it was strange and um, I fell pregnant unfortunately and he turned out to be a womanizer I was completely in love with him and the fact that we spoke about marriage and a life together and this baby it was just it just broke me. Uh, I had to work through a lot of emotions and I think only by the time Lily was one years old I was uh, ready to forgive. My mother took me to this lady that does deliverance and I went to her and I was finally ready to open up and to let know like everything, not, nothing was held back. I confessed and then she took me through a session of forgiving people and I forgave. And that was my true breakthrough. The church moved here to, to Durbanville. I attended and I remember one night I was uh, just listening to the music and enjoying the worship, but then I started criticizing, thinking, oh, these white people, they don't clap hands, they're so stiff and stuff. And it was so annoying. <laughs> and so I'm, con I'm saying this stuff in my mind. And then God speaks to me and he says, uh, basically, stop that. Stop criticizing them. He said, you're going to join the church, you're going to join the cell, and you're going to join the worship. Because obviously I was criticizing and I'm not a part of it. And I was just, okay, yes. And I started doing that. I first joined the cell 
and then I auditioned for the worship, I got into the worship and then I became a member. And when I took those steps and I became obedient, God just changed my life. I think things just started becoming very, very real. Instead of quiet time becoming, being like this must do thing, I hated it because my mother kept reminding me we must have quiet time. It became a desire. It was just my relationship with God became more intimate. I was sitting with God and enjoying quiet time, reading and learning more of God. I could hear God more and He was just speaking so clearly. I um, started spending more time in the Word and the Word that God gave me, I read Jeremiah. This verse just stood out to me, return faithless people, I will cure you of backsliding. And that to me is my life story. I feel so positive to be a mother of two beautiful daughters. There is no, uh, there is no regret that I had them or the way that it happened. And I'm just looking forward to what God has in store for me for the future.